When God created the universe in the majestic opening verses of Genesis chapter 1, everything was perfect. There was no danger, no demon, no death, no discord, no disloyalty, no disappointment, no dryness, no deadness, no decay. But man took a dangerous detour, misled by the lies and the deception of the serpent. He believed the great lie followed plan B, and this eventually resulted in a spiritual death and a great loss. Loss of relationship with God, loss of authority, loss of his inheritance. It was a fatal blow to the perfect order of things that God had so beautifully made. Welcome to another episode of the Global Crusades with Kumi, GCK Daily, where we are empowered with faith and grace flowing from the throne of God from past Global Crusades. Friends, it's time to return to plan A. It's time to return to God's original plan. Let's now walk lockstep with Pastor Kumi as he leads us through the Word of God to the upward path of reconciliation and recovery, the path back to God's beautiful plan. Adam, and you look at Eve, and as you look at them together, and as you look at them in the garden of Eden, no sin, no sickness, no suffering. That's how God made them. And that's how God wants everything to continue in your life, in my life. No sin, give me a good amen. No sickness, another amen. And no suffering. When it brings you back to the original plan, that's what will happen. Not only that, there was no discord, there was no disappointment, and there was no disloyalty. As you look at Adam and Eve, as they were living together in the Garden of Eden, in the Garden of Pleasure, in the Garden of Bliss, in the Garden of uh, the Supernatural Protection, you find that between them, no discord, no disappointment, and no disloyalty. It was their sinning that brought all those things back to their lives. And when Christ comes into your life, all disappointment will vanish away. In my life, in my life, in my life, all disappointment will vanish away in Jesus' name. You remember when the Lord created Adam and Eve and he said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. There was no curse, there was no cruelty, and there was no contention. And the curse that came was because of their sinning, was because of their departing from the Lord. And now that Christ has come, if you receive Christ into your heart tonight, if you say, come in, because he says, I'm knocking at the door, and anyone that opens the door, I will come in. He will come to everyone today. I see him, I see you opening the door and saying, Lord, come in. Lord Jesus, come in. And then every curse in your life, praise the Lord, is broken tonight in Jesus' name. Do you know that when God created Adam and Eve for them, there was no danger and there was no demon for them and there was no death. That is, but he told them, any day you touch that thing, any day you eat the forbidden fruit, then you will die. There was life, abundant life. There was life, a beautiful life, but it was the sin that brought the danger. But originally, no danger. What do you think about that? If God will bring you to himself and reconnect you with himself, and then no disaster in your life. No danger in your life. And no demons can hover around you because originally, when there was divine connection, there was no problem with any demon. And all those demons that cause affliction, as soon as we connect with the Lord today, I want to assure you, demons will vanish away. And all those demonic afflictions, everything will vanish away in Jesus' name. Do you know that there was no fraud, there was no falsehood, and there was no fear when the Lord created Adam and Eve? I'm showing you that that was the a result of the original divine connection. And when that divine connection takes place today, all the fears of your life, they are cancelled. And all fraud, they are cancelled in Jesus' name. 
there was no greed there was no gambling and there was no guilt it is a falling away that has brought greed that has brought gambling and has brought guilt in the lives of many people but thank god today divine connection somebody shout divine connection that divine connection will take all the greed away and will take all the guilt away from your life in Jesus' name. Ringing reminders from the first part of our message today. Number one, in the original state, sin, sickness, and suffering were foreign to man. God is neither the author of sin, sickness, or suffering. These things are opposed to his goodness. James 1.17 tells us every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. These things, sin, sickness, and suffering are the works of the devil and the product of the fall. But Christ, the Son of God, was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3, 8. The second thing we've learned is that the entrance of Christ into our lives drives the darkness and dominion of sin away. Here's how the hymn writer Oswald J. Smith put it. When Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, the tears are wiped away. He takes the gloom and fills the life with glory. For all is changed when Jesus comes to stay. Number three, in Christ, the possibilities are limitless. Paradise is regained, perfection is attained, and power is reclaimed. Pastor Kamui now returns to point us to the dominion that is ours in Christ. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumui. You want to live without malice, without mischief, without mistreatment. You know, some people crying, I'm being mistreated. They take me like a slave in my master's house. Even in my father's house, they take me like a slave. Everybody mistreats me and they reject me. Originally, when God created Adam and Eve, and that divine connection was there, the unlimited result of that divine connection is that there was no malice, and there was no mischief, and there was no mistreatment, and that is coming back. That every mistreatment in your life, the Lord will wipe that away. He'll wipe your tears away. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. You know what happened at that time? At that time when the Lord created Adam and Eve and there was that divine connection, they had only peace, peace is coming back. They have pleasantness, pleasantness is coming back in your life. They had purity, purity, heaven's purity coming upon them. That heaven's purity is coming upon your life in Jesus' name. They had purposefulness. You see, there are people, they have talent, but there's no purpose. They have gifts, there's no purpose. They have skill, there is no purpose. And they do not channel all those things the Lord has given to purposeful living. But you see, for Adam and Eve, in that original state of mind, when God created them, they had uh, all this in their lives. And they had progress you are going to have progress. The past uh, sin, disappointment, and the past uh, defeat, and the past uh, serious uh, case of, you know, walking and walking and walking and no progress, all that is going to pass away. And they had partnership with God. Partnership with God. That's why he will come in the cool of the day and say, Adam, where are you? He had fellowship with them. Anything that ought to be fixed up, he fixed everything profitability was there you will be profitable and they had patience you don't have any fighting between Adam and Eve when there was that divine connection and as that divine connection comes upon your life there will be a patience in your life with one another in the family in Jesus name 
And you know, as you look at them, they, there is princeliness, princeliness. They lived, of course, like somebody having dominion. Of course, like a prince. Of course, like a king. And because of that, there was princeliness. The way they conducted themselves and the way they carried themselves and the way they lived and the provisions they had and everything. You saw them and all the spiritual world can see there was princeliness in their lives and then uh, their lives were just for the praise of God for the glory of God they were made so that they will praise the Lord and your life from today as you have this divine connection as the Lord uh, gets us back into reconnection the Lord himself will make your life a praise your family a praise I will make your surrounding a praise and everything will be praiseworthy in your life in Jesus name actually that garden of Eden for them was like paradise a taste of heaven on earth paradise a taste of heaven on earth and that is what he wants to bring us to there is that original connection divine connection that gave them all these unlimited possibilities. Friends, all hope is not lost. The dark days of Eden's temptation, deception, and destruction has given way to the rise of the Son of Righteousness who has brought salvation, redemption, and healing on His wings. He can take us back, back to the Father, back to plan A. Will you open your heart to Him today? accept him as your savior. Pastor Kumi is here to lead us in the prayer of salvation and healing. Here's an opportunity to make the original connection, the divine connection. Please, I urge you to accept the offer right now and be connected to the God. You're giving your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ right now. He'll wash you, he'll cleanse you, he'll forgive you, he'll transform that heart. If you're giving your heart to the Lord right now for Him to make a transforming touch, just raise up that hand. God bless you there. Just raise up that hand. God bless you there. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. He's going to do it immediately. He's going to do it instantaneously. He's going to do it right now. The moment you call upon him, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Turn away from your sin. Say, Lord, I'm sorry for the past. I'm sorry for my disappointing you. Lord, I come now. I come now. That's why I'm raising up my hand. Forgive me. He will. He will. He will immediately. God bless you for raising up the hand. Tell him now, Lord, I belong to you now. Only you, I belong to you alone. I don't belong to Satan anymore. I don't belong to evil doers anymore. I belong to you completely. Transform my heart. Change my heart. Give salvation to my heart. Thank him that he has done it. He never rejects anyone that calls upon him sincerely tell him i thank you lord i've asked i've received and i know that you've done it i'll pray with you now father in jesus name all these who have offered surrendered and given their hearts to you oh lord forgive them in jesus name according to your promise Take all their sins away and put all their sins in the sea of God's forgetfulness, never to be remembered against them anymore in Jesus' name. Take their guilt away, take their condemnation away, and take their weakness away. And I pray, Lord, definite forgiveness, you grant them now. Freedom from sin, you grant unto them right now. 
let your grace come into their lives and make them new men new women new boys and new girls having the salvation of the lord in their hearts right now in jesus name thank you lord because i know it's done I know it's done. We believe it's done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Why don't you raise up your hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge or the problem. If you're blind, expect to see. If you're lame, expect to rise up and walk. If you have any challenge, any part of your body, expect the Lord to do the miracle right now. And if you are standing in for somebody, like the centurion came to Jesus on behalf of the servants, you are going to receive the miracle by proxy for that individual. The same thing stirs up your hand. Uh, miracles are taking place everywhere tonight in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this hour, this moment, and this time. We know that you are the mighty God. You are a loving God, and your love and your mercy touches everyone, and your goodness is for everyone. We are asking, Lord, Lord, that right now, all that brought suffering, affliction, sickness, wipe everything away in Jesus' name. We're asking, O oh Lord, that all the calamities, all the disaster, all the diseases, and all the infirmity, take everything away in Jesus' name. And I pray that whatever miracles, signs, and wonders, healing, deliverance, dominion, anyone is asking for now, grant it to them right now. That brain problem, insanity, madness, vanish away in Jesus' name. And the goiter, the swelling part of any part of your body that's swelling, come out in Jesus' name. I pray for that blindness. Lord, touch their blind eyes right now. Open those eyes, glaucoma, whatever uh, the problem. Take them away in Jesus' name. And let the blind receive their sight right now. Deaf ears be opened in Jesus' name don't tongue speak out in jesus name and so-called incurable disease cancer whatever come out in jesus name i pray lord diabetes be healed hypertension be healed and things working about in the body get out in jesus name and I pray now that all their problems, all the plagues, all the sicknesses, all the affliction come under their feet. Give everyone dominion. Everyone deliverance. Everyone triumph. Everyone the needed miracle in Jesus' name. Confirm the healing. Confirm the deliverance. Confirm the dominion. Confirm the miracles, signs, and wonders on everyone. Thank you, Lord, because I know it's done. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the global crusade with Kumi. We believe that you've experienced Christ's surpassing love for you and his willingness to guide you, bless you, and be with you all the days of your life. He is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, and you can depend on him. 
We are really excited to further connect you and your family. The easiest way to communicate with us is through our online connection card at gckhq.org slash connect. While there, you can leave us a message about your needs. You may have grab helpful resources to help you with your next step in your journey with Christ. And please let us know how we can pray for you. We love you, God loves you, and we can't wait to meet you at our next Global Crusade. Times and dates are listed on the screen for your specific time zone. Thank, Thank you. you.